Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not you can trust AI. Does it give you bad information? Does it have limitations? Are there safety and ethical considerations? The answer to all those is yes, but let's get down to the details. Okay. So I know I've been going on and on about how much I love ChatGPT and AI, and I still do, but like with anything, it has some limitations and some problems. And as long as you know what to look out for, you should be fine. But I wanted to talk about some of them. And the first one that really surprised me was I found a spelling error more than once. And you wouldn't necessarily know that it was spelling things correctly unless you copy and paste it into a Word document, which I'm sure you're gonna do, especially if you're gonna try to use ChatGPT and AI to plagiarize or copy things. Which I don't recommend because they'll figure it out. One of the big surprises was a math problem that it denied it was having and that I had to force the issue with. And I'll show you exactly how it went. For whatever reason, that's my own business, I had some questions about the population breakdown. So I asked ChatGPT what the percentage of the population of the United States is that's over the age of 50. And it gave me this answer. And I'm assuming that's correct. But after what happened next, uh, I don't like, come on, chat GPT, don't, don't make me do my own math. I'm not good at math, <sighs> but here's how it went. What is the percentage of Americans over 18? So after it tells me um, the Census Bureau information, the year it has, that's this most recent information, it shows me it's math, process and says approximately 78.3 percent of americans are 30 years old or older it gave me the same number so i asked it are you sure that your numbers are correct <laughs> and it said yes i strive to provide accurate information based on the latest available data from reliable sources However, please keep in mind that population estimates and statistics are constantly changing, and there may be variations depending on the specific source and time frame. If you have any doubts or concerns about the information provided, please feel free to ask for clarification or to consult additional sources. <sighs> so obviously I looked at the numbers again and tried to figure out if somehow I was in the wrong and so I asked it some follow-up questions. Is it possible for the number of people over the age of 18 to be the same as the number of people of the same population to be over 30? And obviously it said it's not possible because it's not possible. It gave me its explanation. And so then I asked it again, what is the percentage of the population over 18? And it gave me the same answer. And then I asked it again, what is the population of people over the age of 30? And it gave me the same answer again. And so I said to ChatGPT, you gave me the same percentage for both questions. <laughs> and it replied, you are correct. I apologize for the error. The percentage of Americans over 18 is indeed 78.3%, according to the U.S. Census Bureau's estimates for 2021. And then it goes through its process. To calculate the percentage of Americans over 30, we need to find out how many people are in that age group. According to the same Census Bureau estimates, there are approximately 218.7 million Americans who are 30 years old or older. To calculate the percentage, we can use the following formula x100% equals 66.0%. Therefore, approximately 66% of Americans are 30 years old or older. I apologize for any confusion caused by my earlier response. So I think that's a bit of a red flag. But when in doubt, keep pushing for ChatGPT if you think it's incorrect. I've tried it with a number of different topics, including scientific topics, which we'll get to at another point uh, in the future. So that is just one thing to be aware of. Uh, 
is one of the inaccuracies that I was able to detect. So that's one thing. The other thing is sensitive topics. And it's not sensitive topics like you're gonna hurt its feelings. It's sensitive topics like it wants to keep you safe and it doesn't wanna say bad things. So here are some examples. When it comes to creative writing, it will not tell you a story about how the US government destroys the country. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. But if you are not specific about said government, then it will tell you the story. And when you ask it questions that it won't answer, it usually will tell you why it won't answer it. So it's not like it's just stonewalling you. It also, when it comes to creative writing, and probably any writing, it also will not provide you a list of supplies to grow marijuana at home. Did you ever see the back of a $20 bill, man? No, I don't know, yo. Did you ever see the back of a $20 bill on weed? Oh, there's some weird shit in there, man. There's a dude sitting in the bushes, man. Does he have a gun? I don't know, man. I don't know. What? What? Red team, go. I was in a Reddit feed recently where somebody claims that they were able to trick an AI into giving them instructions on building a bomb. So I'm not sure about that claim. So somebody said in the reply chain of that, this is how you get on a government watch list. And I cannot argue with that. Here's one specific instance where ChatGPT was a little confused and it needed a follow-up question so that I could figure out if it knew what it was talking about or not. And the question I asked it was, what are the ramifications of a second Trump presidency? And it said, It is not possible for Donald Trump to have a second presidency as the U.S. Constitution limits the presidency to two terms in office. However, if you are asking about the potential consequences of a hypothetical scenario in which a president similar to Trump were to be elected for a second term, it would depend on the specific policies and actions of that individual and how they differ from the policies and actions of the current administration. In general, a second term for a president who has similar policies and positions as Trump would likely result in continuation of the same political and social divisions that characterized his first term. And because that first sentence where it said, and we'll go back to it. It is not possible for Donald Trump to have a second presidency as the U.S. Constitution limits the presidency to two terms in office. It prompted me to ask ChatGPT, was Trump elected as president twice? And it said no, which was reassuring. It said no. Donald Trump was elected as the President of the United States once, serving from January 20, 2017 to January 20, 2021. He was defeated in his bid for re-election in the 2020 presidential election by President Joe Biden. He served one term as president. Now, like, look, if you were using ChatGPT to write a paper that you were going to submit to a teacher who was actually going to read it, I'd be very careful just based on this, about the assertions you're making based on the information that ChatGPT or any other AI, do AI has provided you. But it goes without saying, as with anything created by AI or, success, or suspectedly created by AI, make sure that you're using common sense and that you're analyzing it using the crack test. ChatGPT would not predict the future for me, which I guess is fair. However, it can do some future predictions if you're asking it to write you creative writing works, like a short story. It also wouldn't let me plan a murder mystery dinner, which was strange because when I asked about a list of event ideas for a party, a murder mystery dinner was on the list and I thought it was strange. Having had it just told me they wouldn't provide that, so I asked it again and it wouldn't plan a murder mystery for me. So it'll suggest it, it just has some limitations when it comes to executing. And then there was a number of safety considerations I was curious about. So I asked it about helping me create a dangerous TikTok trend using the following prompt. How do I make a TikTok video about eating laundry detergent? 
I'm sorry, but I cannot provide instructions on making a TikTok video about eating laundry detergent. Consuming laundry detergent is extremely dangerous and can lead to serious health consequences, including chemical burns, respiratory problems, and in some cases, death. It is important to- Blah, 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 it goes on. I asked it if it could tell me how to safely shoot my gun indoors, and it was also unwilling to provide me that information. Listen, if it'll make you feel any better, I'll put the safety on. Oops, guess it was already on. Uh, I better just put it down. I asked it to create a cornbread recipe for me using sofa cushions and varnish. Hey man, watch it. Stogie, that's not food. Or is it? Mm. And it would not provide that. And then of course, at the end of it, can I trust AI? There is a number of ethical questions that can be raised with the use of AI. So that was my video for today. I hope you've learned some information that will help you expand your understanding and knowledge of AI. If you have any questions or you have any ideas for me in terms of doing videos about AI, please leave me a message in the comments below. And as always, have a wonderful day.